like that. I think that unfortunately extremism is winning in the country. Yeah. And the vocal minority just has a much larger megaphone or microphone than the non vocal majority. I think most people do that, but I don't think the people that do that waste their time posting about it mm. or taking up the, you know, just filling the narrative so it looks like there's only two positions. That's a good point. I would love to see some return to moderation or just get extremism in any shape. I feel very uncomfortable with people who go to any length like that. Well, I think people are getting more and more upset at it. And I think as people recognize it's more and more preposterous, they're getting more and more, uh, there's more and more pushback and resistance. You know, what's really interesting with progressivism is that people are getting in trouble now for things that seem like there's, there's something like Martina Navratilova, uh, just got a bunch of shit from people calling her transphobic because she was saying that she didn't think that biological males should be competing with biological females and that there are people who identify as transgender who keep their penis and compete as a man. And, you know, her her position was like that, or compete as a woman, rather. She, yep. and her position was like that. Listen, that's not a, that's not a woman. That's a man. And they have an advantage, and she was citing all these instances, and so she got all this shit from people. So then she said, I'm going to step back, and I'm going to research this. So she stepped back and researched it, and then came back and said, no, I've looked at all the data now. She probably came back harder. She did come back harder. Yep. And now they're attacking her and calling her transphobic. Like, listen, this is not transphobia. This is a, a real thing that you're going to have to address when you're talking about physical activities, when someone identifies. Look, if you want to identify as a woman or identify as a male, I think we should all support people doing whatever they want to do as long as it's not hurting anybody. Totally agree. But when you're talking about competition and you're talking about someone identifying i don't care if you identify as a giraffe if you compete in an apple picking competition with a giraffe you're going to fucking lose you're not a giraffe stupid right i mean this is just i mean this is an extreme version yeah. of it but that's nonsense that doesn't make any sense if you decide that you're a woman and you want to enter into a fucking weightlifting competition and you weigh 220 pounds and you're beating all the other women by like fucking insane numbers like there was a uh, a few world champion weightlifting winners that are women that are actually biologically male so yeah. they're winning weightlifting competitions it's just like what the fuck are you talking about like this is crazy this is not a matter of whether or not someone should identify with something but it's you're talking about making it fair for actual biological women like, there's a reason why women don't compete with men. It's because physically they're not as strong. So, and obviously there's some exceptions, there's some weak men, there's some strong women, and there's some sort of a spectrum, and you find yourself somewhere on it. But if you're allowing biological males to compete with biological females and just say, oh, he identifies as a woman, let him in, yay, we're all being very progressive, and then you look at the results and you go, wait, he just broke all the world records? First time in, like what? <laughs> and everyone's like, "Yes, yeah, amazing! What a wonderful woman! Girl power! Like that's not girl power. You're 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 monkeying with biology here. This is this is crazy." So what's the route? What's the road out of that? Like, what does that people lead? getting upset and uh, time time being time? You know, of these instances, um, enough of these things happen. Enough discussion where enough of the actual reality of the facts and the data are shoved in everyone's face enough that the new generation comes to some sort of a rational understanding about what is and is not fair as opposed to where people are now where they just no matter what they're scared to not push this progressive agenda and they're scared of the blowback of Martina Navratilova who is an LBGT hero right yes she's a fucking hero she was a lesbian woman who was a world champion tennis player and now they're the left are attacking her so they're they're eating their own in a spectacular fashion where you have these trans people who don't want to look at reality and then people that support the trans people because they don't want to be considered in any way shape or form anything other than the most progressive of progressive and it's nonsense